Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to continue the third episode Chaos Fury from Life is Strange. Uh, we left off last uh, on the last episode on this scene. So we are going to do it again. Always and, remember this moment. And let's see where this is going to take us. Photobomb! Photo hog. Morning selfie, just for a better waking up. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Literally. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Okay, we read this last time, so let me just sip my water. Get ready because there's a ton. Hello, October 9. Dear Diary, I have to, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and I woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be, on my dreams of being a respected globe hopping photographer, or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing what would Chloe do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Hamber and the esteemed Prescotts. It would be too easy peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scien scientific or apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder, speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive, I love seeing the students at Blackwell so show their support for her with gifts and flowers, finally. I almost felt bad when I didn't see David on campus harassing students, but he brought hit this on himself. I don't know what he's up to or how he's involved, but there's no way he's just playing private detective. Then I think about Joyce, how I've just helped her new husband lose his job. It has to make him treat Chloe better, right? Leave it to Chloe, to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I met her in front of the main building in the dead night, I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than I ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony, like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I have, I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? 
Are the tornado, the snow, and that eclipse just hallucinations, or are we genuine prof? Or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from older students. Too bad mo most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to that roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see that people are on her side. Finally. I hope I can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. Keymaster Chloe. They, um, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got up until I got outside and of course it was a principal wells of all people blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see, I wasn't an engine enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. Principal Wells was shit faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler, drunk, than sober. I can see why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Madsen. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much dude. As he would say, nobody says that seriously. But I can see that he's under a lot of pressure. So much that he's so wasted he can't even use his keys at midnight. Just one thing. We didn't get busted by Principal Wells last night, so did we find a bug in the game? Because I avoided Principal Wells all without he seeing me, so this is weird. Sure he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe, bad Max. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my, all my attention for her and finding Rachel and she gets all but hurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously, I have time in, in hand, but I can't say mad. I can't stay mad at her for long and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building and honestly I was pretty hamped up too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. Shocked and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She's freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria. No matter how I try, she's already rich, pretty and a good photographer. Why I try so hard and hurt so many man to manipulate everything already in your favor? I just hope that's not what I'm do what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredible, incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind that it was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell Ninjas strike again. 
so cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet, even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we kinda suck at master spies, since we didn't have a key for the principal's office, no worries with my rewind power at hand, and of course, Dr. Warren Graham, he came through with a bitching mini bomb made of sodium. What the fuck ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries so hard to help. Maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Talk about being in the Senko. Sanctorum. Sancto Sanctorum. That's Latin. Thanks, Latin class. I barely passed. <laughs> I barely read that, so. Off, pla off Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's of their, uh, office after midnight. Going through his files and laptop with Chloe, she was way too into it, technically. We could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretend that we were on a very special episode of The Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wakey Sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. Oh, I miss The Wizards of Waverly Place. It was such a cool series. While we didn't find the proof, we found Nathan's file and a weird drawing in that. In it that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over. So that's major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow, or he's just insane. But he's not also referenced David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret banker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself, and she actually wanted to take five grand in cash marked handicapped fund. Cause that's gotta be legit. Hemi right? I can't think of a faster route to karma hell. But it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kinda of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I can't just let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mammy Max. Despite all the usually breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided. <laughs> Chloe decided what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, "Oh yes, we shall swim." We didn't completely skinny deep, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit. Me too, just two friends goofing around in the pool. I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of the of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I have a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talk about them boys and girls and why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has she has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in, a, in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwell handiwork, it was so intense and excited to get past the security guards, they had serious spotlight power, so I, it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past, especially as we had to bail in Chloe's jungle. But, like I said, intense and excited. Hella like Chloe Price. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to 
Okay, I need to get dressed now. Supplies are endless in the evening. Is it from Warren? Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. An old flip, flip phone. Those were cool. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. No, you have a heavy part. I can feel it when we kiss. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Police have not stayed if they have any suspects yet. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Apple Night Donuts. Okay. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Following a public suicide threat Blackwell at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No more information is available at this time. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Time to put on your daily armor, man. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Damn. Things escalate. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. <laughs> so, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion house. Let's see. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. 
put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Okay. You never Damn. Never You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. She dared you. And the dare is it there. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Okay, let's leave. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. It's time for payback. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? This might be the one time these people are right. Yeah. This might be the end of the world. Who knows? I don't. I guess we already checked out these photos. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Take. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. That's like... You know, weird. Now for the mother's milk. Yeah, of Who drinks beer this early around here? Guess David. Oh man, the I don't want to be famous for this. Flash snow in freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon. I guess it's true. It's outside. What? Three dead birds lined up. That's fucking ominous. 
Okay, what's happening here? Let's relax. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. These birds died. What's happening here? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Get this bird out of here. What bird? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was is smart and she always landed on her feet maybe i don't know her as well as i thought maybe chloe doesn't either sometimes i feel like i don't know chloe as well as i thought <laughs> max caulfield are you actually jealous of rachel just a bit maybe rachel was so much cooler than me <laughs> you think then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Okay. Yep. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Now that's what I call pancakes. Let's heat pancakes. Oh, I wish I could heat pancakes now. Damn it, games. Now what? Dead number one. 
Don't feel that Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I want to wow, see too. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. And guess who's coming down? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Ooh. The garage. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Okay. Yes. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Let's search. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Uh, I don't think it's that. Search. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Seven. Nothing in it. Just the surveillance. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Uh, nothing important in there. Here. Obviously, David's parents care about him. Seven to five that seven. date might be a good password. Cute. I can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Oh, Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Damn. Okay. Is there anything else in here that I can search for? Since it's stupid Durfee. No, so. Army? Oh, 
shit balls. Personal. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze Damn. the laptop. Worst hacker ever. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Let's talk to her. Oh, shit. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? That's what happens when you lose your job as head of Blackwell Security. What happened? What you would expect to happen in this PC college bullshit age. The principal takes the words of lying stone students over a veteran and law professional. Uh, again? This isn't the first time you've gotten in trouble there. Now it's the last time. I'll get a lawyer to sue their ass. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. I can't believe you got fired. No. Of course I can believe you got fired. Did you threaten some poor student with a stockade? He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Nah, I said you'd Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. 
Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Damn. That's up to Chloe. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. And now what? Okay. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Let's go. Investigation. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Okay. Great message. Max, thank you for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hi Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can, promise. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Just you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! I wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you!
<coughs> so now I'm confused. What can I do? There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. Okay. David. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. There she is. Thanks. I'm, I'm glad you're. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Huh. Now what? Oh, this bastard. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> what the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. Let's go with Nathan again. 
Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Nope. Holy shit, what do I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> Holy sh... Just Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> Let's talk to the cop. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. We'll chat later, Max. There she is. Thanks, officer. I'm glad you're. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What's in the news? But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Mm -mm. 
I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. I just don't think he's allowed to do this. Though it was funny. Open. Kidding me? Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Okay. Back to the RV. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You I scope think the, the doggy while likes I his bone more. His computer for info. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer. For that would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your body. It's a drug dealer. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Yep. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. 
crappy Wi Fi out here. It's taking days to download the porn. Yuck. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses. Nothing here. Oh shit, the knife is broken. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. Frank's stash. How can somebody live like this? I don't know, but they can. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit, who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And 
Rachel needs you. She's mad. Real mad. Oh my god. What is happening now? What's going on? Time for What's happening? Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crackers. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Joyce loves William so much. Mom said it depends. That's true. So now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. How many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let so her know I that. I guess our memories only go dead far. Whoa. It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Hello? Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What a mess we made. What? I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. I know they never took that big vacation. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Boom. So Disconnected. 
Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Look here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. No, excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not Obvious, to but it will have to do. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Score! No, let's hide them. Can I hide them outside? Yes. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. You're not pissed at me, right? 
right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. The hell was Warren, this? he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor.
for the stats, guys. Let's see. You left the many. 53% of the world players. You kissed Chloe. 78%. Who did not do the dare? You never rejected dare. You sided with Chloe. Interesting that 22% sided with David. You got friends. Frank's dog hurt. I couldn't do that to the poor guy. Frank has David's gun. I haven't saw that. And now I probably screwed. So, 54% of my friends stole the money. Guys, come on. You never do that. More people kissed Chloe. Still 13%. Ignored the dare. Don't do that. 21% sided with David, so basically the same as the world. 4% hurt the dog. Don't do that. And 79% got Chloe to have the can, so 21% 21% missed it. Okay. World. Liz is alive? Yep. You helped Warren with this exam? Yes, I did. You're on the Vortex Club party list? Yes. You didn't change the Vortex Club party list? What, you couldn't change it? Oh, come on. You erase the cop sensor messages? Yeah. You helped Alyssa? Of course. You didn't warn the homeless? Oh, I forgot the homeless woman. Not the only one. Basically everyone. You didn't take the photo in the past. You left a mark on the fireplace. And on the friends? Uh, the story is basically the same. So, I think it's time to see that. Damn, episode 4, Dark Room. Today is just a, a very interesting episode. I don't know how to to express my feelings about it. We put Chloe on a wheelchair. She's, she's tetraplegic. I wonder how many stuff have we changed in the world. More than just that. I just want to know what's the meaning behind the dead birds, the beach whales, everything. And the fact that Dark Room is the next episode, I wonder what's going to happen? And who's behind all these? Too many questions, too little answers. And if you want to know, you have to wait for the next episode coming next week. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button, share the video with all of your friends so, get, so they can enjoy it too, subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't lose miss any of the next videos. Also, make sure to comment something on the video. It's good for engagement, I want to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment something. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye!